what what's the last topic we have? It's a, it's DC stuff, right? Mm hmm. Okay. We got some DC stuff. The branding on. They were afraid of angering Peter Dinklage. <laughs> Uh, probably. Yep. Last thing. Yeah, I just couldn't remember. Like, there's one more thing, right? Yep. Rumor. Warner Brothers Discovery CEO David. Z I never am able to pronounce his name right. Order James Gunn to stack some Superman legacy with more DC characters to lure potential buyers. So they're planning on selling off DC. Really? At least that's my understanding. Hmm. Interesting. So do you want to read this or do you want yeah, me to? Yeah, I gotcha. I'll do it. Mando's throat needs a rest. Um, that wasn't supposed to be a bad joke, guys. She's sick. Calm down. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Superman Legacy, we now know, is going to be another loaded DC epic and not just another Superman movie. However, it may come as no surprise that this was not always going to be the case. Allegedly, the writer and director, James Gunn, was originally out to craft a simpler story until he received orders from on high to throw more characters into the script. YouTuber Sly, Sly, YouTuber Silly uh, Abdul hears that Warner Brothers Discovery CEO and Gunn's boss, David Zaslav, is pushing for the extra heroes and accounterments with an agenda in mind. James Gunn originally aimed for Superman Legacy to be simply a Superman story, and it still is, but the inclusion of this already full DC world backdrop seems to have pushed by been pushed by Zaslav, Abdul tweeted. Okay, this film is Zaslav's way of showcasing the DC world to a potential buyer, he continued. This last sentence will ring some bells for our readers who may recall a sale of DC was predicted years ago. Our, hey, Ethan Van Shriver, <laughs> artist Ethan Van Shriver, he's in this article. A former employee was the first or one forerunner at least to prefer the idea that Warner Brothers might cut bait with the publisher. Interesting. Mm. To be fair, Van Shriver has been saying that since AT&T was the principal owner of Warner and all their assets, turning the ship around proved to be too insurmountable a task for the communications giant so warner brothers merged with discovery this merger by itself didn't fix their problem and instead left zaslav with a heap of debt to deal with on conference calls the ceo pledged the mission was to get the cash flowing at the company again with releases such as the flash bombing epically it's an uphill battle not going in the studio's favor but all the same zaslav found a way to prune the debt and benefit from tax loopholes batgirl is the starkest instance Though it's one of many. Hmm. So, uh, the feeling of some insiders is that Zaslav is uh, wending through all of the chaos to prep his WBD entity for another yet another merger. Even though he was adamant about the idea in September of last year, Zaslav declared, "We're not for sale. Absolutely not for sale." Disney was considered a buyer at one point. Oh God, no, please which would put DC under the same roof as Marvel, but Abdul thinks the candidate is Comcast slash NBC Universal. I'm not totally against that. I would rather Universal than Disney own another Absolutely. single thing. Ab 1,000 gajillion percent. Either way, Zaslav wants to market the breadth of the IP strongly. Uh, in a follow-up video, Abdul added that Zaslav's orders apply to Superman Legacy and Brave and the Bold, which is a full-blown Bat Family movie. WBD is still adjusting its strategy, and the uh, consulates are over a gun's shoulder. However, they might leave the dirty work to world-building up to Universal after the supposed sale. We shall see how the situation develops. Oh, hmm. that's it. I I mean, if they do sell, Universal is the way to go. I, would, like... I wouldn't mind Universal having it. I mean, they're already doing better than Disney in a lot of things anyway. So, um, but yeah, I agree with Jared. Like, if they just what if they just left the creatives alone and let them do their thing, they'd be making money. Like, leave the big wigs out of it. Like, they don't know how to make money with with IPs like themselves. this. Just the big wigs, the top people. You fund it. You find somebody that's going to write a good script. That's going to handle all the business and you keep your 
social justice politics whatever out of it just let the creative minds do the creative stuff and you just sit back and sip your drink and whatever the heck you big execs do yeah Rhoda, i agree it, it like universal will destroy disney if they own dc like i will forever be a marvel fan and love spider-man and all of the marvel people but straight up i like, mean universal still has some spider-man stuff my favorite ride at universal is the spider-man ride they still right? own some parts of it like if if they oh, could imagine if they, do if they good got marvel stuff, too bro like <sighs> like they can they can make money so fast. They have to hire actual creative people, right? I think that's true. People, too. I think, and granted, this is Hollywood has been this way for years, and I think it's to their downfall. They hire their friends. They're like, "Hey, I know a guy. You should hire him." Doesn't matter if he's actually qualified. Doesn't matter if he's talented. Doesn't matter if he knows what the heck he's doing. I know a guy. It's like, mm. Mm, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, Charlie, exactly. Yeah. don't cater to the mob cater to the people that are actually giving you money because you're catering to the people that are either pirating your movies or just not even going to see them. they just saw something and got mad about it yeah uh yeah if, if universal owns dc like dc's gonna stomp out marvel like it's it's not even gonna be a competition even if they just do mediocre stuff they have batman and superman bro like they have the the top titans like there's there's no way that uh disney with the people that they have in charge right now would even have a snowball chance in hell if universal actually did what they could do with dc yeah they know a woman pando no guys allowed oh i see mm mm-hmm, mhm mhm yeah, Sony should buy the rest of marvel while disney disney is having a yard agreed like if sony Sony having D uh Marvel and then Universal having DC, bro. That would be so cool. And if they did everything right, like because like I think Sony has done better with Marvel than uh Disney. And most Marvel fans, like we've all been screaming, you know, we want all of the Marvel cast under one roof because so many of the storylines don't make sense without the whole Marvel, like all of the Marvel um, heroes. And we were like, I was hopeful. I was like, hey, Disney going to buy all of them. Disney's going to have all all of the, the heroes. It's going to be great. They're going to be working together. We're going to get what we wanted. And just imagine DC at the Universal Parks. Yeah. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. and yeah i i get it yes they are but i think they are doing better than disney is right now <sighs> but yeah that's me